2014 Canyon Trail just rolled in here at Haloed Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and we have a special treat for you today. We have Mr. Pete Smith, the representative from Canyon Trail, to give you a personal tour of this trailer. So uh, what can you tell us about this thing, Pete, that makes it worth your investment? Well, we'll start with the exterior here, Josh. Uh, to start with, we have the champagne-colored fiberglass, the frameless windows, the power awning, the aluminum wheels. Those are all standard equipment on a Canyon Trail. And that is a large awning. It is a very large awning. Uh, we also do some things a little bit differently than most. We have a spot for, for two batteries here. And you're not using a plastic battery box. You know, this is steel, it's vented out the bottom, so you can put an auxiliary battery there. There's also a battery disconnect in the compartment. So if you want to shut your battery power off so you're not draining them as you store your unit, you can do that as well. Um, a couple other small things here. Our outside speakers are down here low. A lot of other companies put them up top. It makes them tougher to hear from the picnic table. Except for the neighbor who you blow away and then they call the front desk, right? <laughs> right. Uh, so you can hear these better. It's also, you know, the holes are down here in the skirt metal rather than up in the side of the body. There's a quick connect here for a propane. That way if you want to mount an exterior grill, you can do that and plug right in very easily. Um, as we look at the underneath storage compartment here, this is all finished off very nicely, carpeted. We also use uh, thermal foil insulation up here. And if you can see this in the, in the camera shot there, uh, we use this stuff to wrap the holding tanks. We also insulate the frame rails where the tanks are at and force air heat down there. So you're extremely well insulated with Canyon Trail product. Another little thing, you know, the jack handles have a home so you don't just have to toss them in the belly. You have a spot to go with them. Um, a couple exterior <clears throat> plugs here. Really nice if you want to plug something in and, and, and run off the coach as you're camping. Um, let's see here. So let's step inside real quick because there's a lot of value inside this coach that I don't want people to miss. We'll start here with the living room of the coach. Um, all of our slide rooms are over six foot tall for clearance. So, yeah, look at that, you're standing right up inside it. Yeah, so you could, you know, most guys will be able to stand up and not, not hit their head, that type of thing. Do you have a surplus of windows down at the factory? Is that why there's so many in this floor plan? <laughs> we do not, but we do try to put a lot of windows in, uh, especially with our darker cabinetry color. It lets more light in the coach and it feels more home. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any lights on in here and it's very bright and comfortable. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this dinette? Because this is not standard in the RV industry. This is very unique. Yeah, this is a unique table. Uh, this table slide, it pivots like this. It has a leaf in it as well. If you get a bigger person on one side, it also slides. Okay, so if you, you, know, if you need more room on that side or this side, you can do that. All of your dinette chairs have storage in them. Oh, the old sewing seats. Yeah, that's great if you only know, got board games or cards or sure. that type of stuff to put away. Uh, we have the crackled glass accent lights, all LED lighting throughout the coach as well, even LED bulbs in these. Um, oh, even these are LEDs, no yes, kidding? Yes, they are. Um, all of our furniture is Lane residential quality furniture. It's lifetime warranty on the mechanisms, extremely comfortable and durable stuff. Um, <coughs> let's see here, we have a fireplace. The fireplace is a great feature. It's not only going to give you, you know, a great look in the coach. It's also 12 volt electric, so it puts off a good amount of heat. And what's nice about that when you're camping is you're not wasting your propane. Well, that's cool. That's 12 volt because so many of them are 110 only. Right. Um, you also have AM, FM, CD, DVD. All of our televisions are mounted on a swing arm bracket. So you can get a good view from of the TV wherever you may be sitting in the coach. It's also, for, for uh, traveling, very easy to put away. It locks right into position. Wow. You don't have to strap your TV down or anything. With the system we use here, you can plug in your USB or your SD card from your camera. So you, know, you can listen to your iPod. You can plug in some pictures you may have taken on your camera. Maybe watch a slideshow on your television, that type of thing. All the appliances are stainless steel. Good looking stuff. Um, now, and that's actually interesting you, you mentioned that because so many manufacturers call it a stainless steel package and it's not. It's just a, a cheap plastic insert, but that's the real deal. It is the real deal, uh, both on the stove, microwave, and the fridge. Now, we do have uh, wood panels that match the cabinetry on the fridge if you want to go that route. Sure. All of our slide rooms are very unique just in the sense that we put a quarter inch steel plate in the header of each slide room. 
And what that's going to do, it's going to keep your opening square and true and keep the water out of your coach. In our literature, it shows four guys hanging from the slide out room. So they're <laughs> extremely strong. Um, and I'm not going to hang from it. I don't want to you know, grab a hold of the wood here and do that. But uh, but it's going to keep the keep the opening square and true and keep it from sagging and keep the water out. How do you feel about your cabinetry? you think it's pretty top notch? Cabinetry is, is very top notch. Um, you got extremely nice cherry finish on the cabinetry. Uh, nice. You think handles. it holds up to road abuse pretty well? It very <laughs> like that? It very much does, Josh. Were you expecting that? I was not expecting that. But that's exactly what it's going to be like inside this coach. This is a earthquake inside and a hurricane outside. You know, well, if you heard a 70 mile an hour hurricane wind, that's how fast it is when you drive down the road, and then you hit a headwind from another truck, and that's why this has to be built like that. You because this is going to be doing this down the road all the time it has to hold up um let's move forward here tell us about this big sure. cabinet behind us because that's awesome I, you can't see that in a photo and that's why i put these uh videos together well this is very unique this is a pantry this is also washer and dryer prepped and it's set up to fit a stackable washer and dryer unit so if you're a full timer if you spend a few months every year in your coach you could put both washer and dryer in here rather than using just a single unit that does both or you can, it doubles as a huge pantry. Um, it's also on the main floor. It's not up in a closet. So a lot of folks really like that. Uh, just a real nice feature to have if you're going to spend several months in your camper. Now, I notice in the kitchen you have the big uh, Max Air style giant vent fan. But not everyone's as tall as you and me. How, how do they manipulate this thing without a step stool? Well, you don't ever have to touch that. The button is over here on the side. And all you do is you turn it on. And it automatically opens up. I think you're just hitting the fan button, not the uh, on button there. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we were just hitting the fan button. But yeah, no, the, uh, the vent lid automatically opens and shuts as you turn that fan off and on. Um, now this floor plan is a little unique in that it has this extra half bath here. And I've always thought that was really cool because if your slides are in when you're going down the road, you can hop in, hop out, and have use of your facilities. And that's a legitimate porcelain stool, isn't it? It is. It's a porcelain stool. It's also a very big bathroom. You, you've got plenty of room. A lot of the half baths are very small. I'm a big guy. I've got plenty of room yeah. in here, lots of space to spare, you know, to sit down, use the bathroom, whatever I need to do. And it is handy to be able to stop and, and use the body when you're going down the road. Awesome. Well, let's keep moving forward here. Right. I don't want to run over on our video. These folks got other things to do. <laughs> As we move forward, you've got the wood steps that Josh is coming up now. As we come into the bedroom here, uh, one of the great things about this, it has a Lane Eye Gel Memory Foam mattress here. It's got beads in uh, gel beads in it that are supposed to keep you cool as you sleep. It's also extremely comfortable, just like the mattress you'd have at home. We also have two slides in our bedroom. It really opens it up, gives you a lot of wardrobe space. You've got the same TV bracket that you do in your living room in here as well. So you can put a good size 39 or 40 inch TV there. Um, you know, I noticed the, the silliest small things, but this is the attention to detail you need when you're camping. This little thing right here is a thermal probe that detects the, the temperature here in the bedroom uh, as a override to the master thermostat so that when you're sleeping at night you stay comfortable in here instead of your living room being comfortable and you either freeze or sweat. Well, and that insulation you showed us, that's what's right beneath our feet. You know, the underbelly, the pass-through storage is right under us. If that wasn't insulated, this would never be comfortable. Correct. You know, other little things I've seen, sorry to jump over there, but all the windows here in the bed slide and they open so you can get cross ventilation up here even if you don't want to run the air. Yep, and we've done some some accent features here. You've got the wainscoting down below in the mirror, which really adds to the look of the bed. Yeah. Uh, good looking, comfortable space. It is available with a king bed as well. Uh, as we come in here to the bathroom, we've got dual vessel sinks here, his and hers, uh, which are just awesome. Our, our customers really like that. Just like they'd have at home, your wife would have her space, you'd have your space. Uh, and all of us guys know that we don't want to get in our wife's space in the bathroom. Well, I'm noticing you're standing right next to the front of this and you're not ducking. No, we're six foot five interior height here. Uh, also, our closet is a cedar lined closet and you can smell that cedar. I know you're not going to smell it on the video here. Not until you invent smell of it, right? 
but we also have a safe in there so you can lock up your valuables if you're if you're traveling and and you know you don't want to carry everything well, with you, you know, i'm noticing where you spent a couple extra dollars here for functionality because you could have easily just run this all the way to the floor but you added this extra drawer space which in turn really just created an extra shelf up here and you doubled your effective carrying capacity well and we need spots for our socks and underwear and t-shirts too right right Josh? right yeah. you know uh, now, there's, there's also another big cabinet on this side with shelving for your towels and washcloths and all that type of toiletry items. Uh, in the shower here, this is a big 30 by 40. I say shower. jump right in there. Let them see yeah. how big it is. Has a huge skylight in it. Really very roomy. As again, I'm a big guy. I have plenty of room. This is something where you gals can actually sit down here, shave your legs if you need to, which is just a great feature. Can you demonstrate the leg shaving again? I cannot again. do that. Uh, you do have another porcel porcelain toilet here with a towel bar, um, and you know, just a, a great size bathroom that everyone really seems to love. All right. Well, thank you, Pete. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have this in stock and available here in Coldwater, Michigan, at Halet Auto and RV, eight hundred two fifty six. 5196. Thank you.